Lloyd's Theater. It's the Mystery Hour with fantastic guests and wonderful music. And now here is your host, Mystery Jeff Hoda. Welcome to the Mystery Hour. <laughs> or shall I say the Emmy Award winning Mystery Hour. <laughs> Don't even mind that it's regional. <laughs> hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. Yakov Smirnoff is here. <laughs> we love him. As well as the music of Tyler Montgomery. And due to a generous donation from Rosalie Wooten, our title sponsor tonight is Moxie Cinema. Check out this commercial. Is Jessica here? Who? Jessica. Jessica, Jessica, it's me, Dex. Dexter, I don't have time for this. Well, you don't understand. I know you're planning to fly to France when your shift gets done. You can't, you were here the whole time and I never realized it. You're quirky and free-spirited and I'm too uptight. But I learned from you, there's, there's more to life than that. I can't, Dexter, you're too no, late. Listen, 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 uh, I love you. I love you like the community loves Moxie memberships. When you put it like that, I love you too. We sh started shooting that commercial, and Katie, who's in the commercial, said, hey, how about we do, like, real acting this time? <laughs> <laughs> so we did. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just move on to things I've noticed. What up? These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed here. Yeah. These things I've noticed. All right. These things I've noticed here. Yeah. <laughs> Got sultry. All right, these are things I've noticed. You guys might relate to some of these. You might not. All right. I've noticed that there's nothing like a trip to the dentist to make you question your whole appearance. <laughs> I've noticed that a ring is just an incorrectly named hole. I've noticed that millennials like to use the internet to complain that they wish they were born in a simpler time. <laughs> I've noticed that I tried to listen to a deep focus Spotify station, but I found it highly distracting. <laughs> I've noticed that my primary source for news some days is my angriest, most outspoken Facebook friends. And finally, I've noticed that few things reawaken one's zest for life, like almost being locked in a bathroom stall. <laughs> That's things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's good. That's good. It's way off beat. Hey, here at the Mystery Hour, we are always uh, trying to reach new audiences, and you know, every show is trying to reach younger audiences. So that's what we're doing here, and I'm getting older every day, so we need to know what the kids care about. So we wanted to have a little focus group and talk to a kids expert. So we're gonna do that in a second. I'm gonna step here, over here, into the boardroom, the Mystery Hour boardroom, let's do it. Yeah. 
Okay. Rachel was in Okay. So we have our youth expert, Callie Day, here, uh, and we're going to talk to her about what... <laughs> Hi, Callie. Nice to see you, too. <laughs> Callie, how old are you? Five. Five? When yeah. did you turn five? Uh, when it was next week. When it was next week? <laughs> uh, like a long, long time ago. A long time ago. All right, so Callie, we want to go through some of the things we do for the show and get your opinion on them. Would you, see, would you say the youth of today like to see themselves on TVs? Hey, Callie, I have a question for you. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> acting on stage. <laughs> acting on stage. So, Callie, what do you think of the show? How can we improve the show? By doing funny stuff. <laughs> do we already do funny stuff? Yeah. All right, that's good. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> what do you think of what we have on the set? Anything we should change there? Okay, what would you like to see more of? Maybe we can switch some of those pictures. <laughs> switch some of the pictures? Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, I'm interested also in uh, some content for the show. Do you have any characters that you would suggest that we do that maybe you do? Uh, I have old grandma. <laughs> you have old grandma? Uh-huh. Can I see old grandma? Sure. Okay, so I'll, I'll start it, I'll, I'll, I'll start the scene. Okay. We have with us tonight old grandma. I've never seen stuff before. I'm just an old grandma. <laughs> that's good. That's good. No, that's great. I'd love to have another character. Do you have any other characters? Well, I have old grandpa. <laughs> old grandpa? All right. Let's see that. I'll, I'll introduce it again. Okay. Tonight, we have a special character here tonight, old grandpa. I never seen drift before. I'm just an old grandpa. That's good. Do you have any others? Well, they have old, old cousin. Old cousin? Uh-huh. What could that be like? Let's try it. <laughs> okay. I wait, wait, shh. I gotta introduce you. <laughs> you got ahead of yourself. Tonight on the show, we have a special appearance by old cousin. Before I'm just an old cousin. That's great. So we are in front of a green screen, but you can see in the monitor behind us is a yep. boardroom. Does that make yep. sense? No. What do you think about those people back there? I think they're just working on top end. <laughs> so what would you think? We need to think of a new slogan for the Mystery Hour. What would you say? The Mystery Hour. Mystery Hour. <laughs> Simple. That's it. We'll be right back. Good job, Kelly. We'll be right back with Yakov Smirnov. You did great. 
That Comedy Bit brought to you by Oz Air. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. I hope that commercial wasn't horrible. <laughs> hey, we have a great guest tonight. We're so excited to have him here, but even better than that, we have a great guest sponsor. Whoop, whoop. MissouriTrafficTickets.com. If you get a ticket, just click it. <laughs> Our guest tonight... We, he's been on the show several times, and we love him so much. Please give it up for Yakov Smirnov. There you are, sir. There he is. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing awesome and getting better. Good. Yes. It seems like people know who you are. I, I appreciate that. That's nice. I, I've been here in Branson, uh, well, in this area for 23 years. This is my 23rd year. That's so, amazing. So for them to know who I am, I spend a lot of money on billboards. <laughs> You'd have to never travel down 65 to not know who you That's are. That's right. That's right. So, uh, but people haven't seen as much of you recently. Yes. I, I last few, a couple of years, I've been living in Hollywood and in Malibu more uh, to kind of get back uh, on television and movies. So I come here for October, November, and this will be my last season here in, in Branson. Wow. Well, 23 years, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting out on good behavior, and... Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but what's interesting to me is that uh, it's not as if you started, of course, in Branson. You had such a great career, yeah. and, uh, then, and then you took it to, like, a live show in Branson, and now you're going back to kind of where you were. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I feel uh, Branson have been really a great place. I didn't expect to stay this long, honestly, and uh, um, I got here from Hollywood, and I, at that time I was learning English for 20 years, and I moved to the Ozarks. I had to start all over again. <laughs> yeah. Mel, Mel Tillis was teaching me English, so <laughs> it took forever, so... Um, but also what happened is that this place, my, my theater became kind of a place for me to develop a different persona or a different act, and, uh, and so that's what I'm taking back to Hollywood. Yeah, so people know you, I, I think, probably nationally as uh, kind of the famous Russian comedian. Yes. But you've developed so much beyond that in the last 23 years. I, I think so. I, um, the show I'm going to be doing, I'm filming a, a PBS special, on uh, January 29, and uh, it's called Happily Ever Laughter. Great. <laughs> and uh, it's about relationships and how to create uh, more happiness and laughter in your relationship. So um, that's kind of what developed here in, in Branson. And uh, I went back to college. I got my master's degree in psychology while I was here in, at the University of Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> So, so it really, I had an opportunity. Not very many people get the opportunity to have a receptive audience and develop next step of their career. Because that's what it, it takes, particularly as you're going back to your roots in stand-up and stuff. It, it takes doing it a lot and, and putting out new material and seeing where you can tweak it. And Testing it, yes. And, and understanding what people want to hear. You, you might think they want it, but if they don't laugh, then it means that they, they really don't want it. So That's our show. <laughs> I'm glad you said it. I just... <laughs> And, and I think, uh, Jeff, I'll tell you what, I, I think I discovered certain things about myself and what the audience really needs or wants because my focus was on comparing Russia to America and mm -hmm. the jokes that I did, and they're still, they're still funny. 
However, what I refocused on, it was from the Cold War between countries. Now it's uh, refocusing on the Cold War in a bedroom. Sure. <laughs> And, a lot, and, and this is really close to everybody's, uh, you know, I mean, they, they know it. And so I know this uh, going to school and I learned that, you know, with all the research I did on happiness, uh, with all the CAT scans and MRIs and DNA mapping, I came to a shocking conclusion that men and women are different. <laughs> And, I, and I'm not talking about physical difference. You, yeah. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah. No, you don't, need, you don't need CAT scans and MRIs or master's degree for that. Bachelor's is plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm talking about hormonal difference, neurological difference, how differently we develop in our mother's womb. This information was not available. It just came on the market maybe 10 years ago. You can Google it now. Every one of us, it's true, every one of us in the womb Develop first six weeks as baby girl. And with, yeah, yeah, with all the female reproductive organs and ovaries and everything. And at six weeks, testosterone washes over the fetus okay. and damages baby boy's brain. <laughs> Ladies, that was not meant to be funny. <laughs> no, but, but Mother Nature is doing this because it wants one gender to be less sensitive, it wants to be tougher, mm -hmm. so it can be a protector, right? So, and we embrace it as society. I mean, when the baby is born, what, is, what does a baby girl get? She gets pink blankets, pink booties, pink bows, right? Mm -hmm. What does a boy, baby, boy, baby boy get? Mm -hmm. Circumcised. <laughs> It's a raw deal. Well, and so no wonder boys don't get upset when they skin their knee. <laughs> I mean, that, that's nothing. <laughs> you, should have, you should have seen what happened at the hospital. Let me tell you about it. Yeah, parents paid the bill. Yeah, but I left the tip. You know? <laughs> there he is. We're, that's the Yakov Smirnoff. We're going to end on that. There he is. Check out his show, Stone Branson. Guest travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vandevoort. Musical guests brought to you by Brian Properties. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We're gonna keep this moving right on to the musical guest. Please give it up for Tyler Montgomery. Tell us we don't know what 
Lovers, we should take it slow, but boy, I wish my dad could see me now. Falling harder every day, boy, in love in every way. Girl, you know I couldn't tell you how. People tell me it'll pass. Love was never meant to last in life. It's full of despair. But what do all these people know? Without the love that they've let go You know, girl, I just couldn't care Cause each time we touch I still feel the rush won't shine. Hey, that's our show tonight. Just so you know, 10% of our box office proceeds go to Victory Trade School. We'll see you next week. That was great. Wonderful. Thanks for coming out here. Big Whiskey is the official caterer of the Mystery Hour.